Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we have another Rocky Patel sent over by Eric. Smoke one if you have one. This is the Rocky Patel Dark Star. And it's one of those cigars that kind of got a big hype during the trade show last year. Uh, it was released in October 2023. This particular size is 6x52 Toro. And MSRP 11.50. Now on the record, it says the wrapper is Honduras Corojo, binder is Honduras, and filler is Honduras and Nicaraguan. However, uh, on here it says that one of the special things is that the filler is a, a seed that's native to to Paraguay, and um, it's rare. And then it kind of got re it was taken. It was growing in Honduras by Placencia, which is kind of weird because Honduras, Placencia. Anyways, so I'm kind of happy to review a Rocky Patel in its normal price range. $11.50, totally doable. Let's get started, right? Let's get started. So. Mmm. Just woodsy smell, nothing crazy. Now the star looks like one of those long star, but you know, but black. Uh, in terms of the look, there is not, you know, it, it's a unified look. But you know, if this whole thing was blue, it would just remind me of Texas. So, <laughs> but man, let's open it up. It's a paper band, Rocky Patel, two star. I swear to God, that looks like a clip bar. Like somewhere you can get on Google and just turn it black. Anyways, the paper is textured. Yeah, it's just textured, not monogram. So we'll get started. All right, let's do a cold draw. Maybe I should do a V cut because Eric always complained of me not doing the V cut. I like to do the same cut, like the straight cut, because usually um, it will make more equal of the draw interpretation for me. But he complains, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a V cut. You happy now, V cut? Uh huh. Anyways, draw is good. Woodsy, leathery, and raisiny. Woodsy, leathery, raisiny. Mm. Some sort of dry fruit. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, light it up. Today, we will use a Jewish lighter. Why not? It's a dual torch. Slowly light it up. Very slowly. Now, when you light your cigar, right? You just you really want to make sure the, the sides are burned rather than, you know, and then you go to the inside because if the side burns well, the whole, the, the whole cigar is going to burn well, right? So get the sides first, like the edge, that that rim. Just get it, make sure that rim is kind of got to it. And then you worry about the center. Because the center, you have to take a draw to get it in there, so. And 
and that's it. Okay, so I'm waiting for that burn flavor to go away. Give it a few seconds. All right. Dry fruit. A little bit of raisiny. Espresso. Ends with a bitterness. And wood. And wood. About medium strength. As well as medium body. Chocolate. It's more on the nose. A little bit, very tiny, small amount of pepper burn at the end. <laughs> kind of pleasant. That bitterness, though, it's a little bit strong, but it's kind of pleasant. So, yeah, let me smoke for one third and we'll come right back to talk about this cigar. Be right back. One third. All right. So, it's got there's an undertone of like chocolate. It's got wood, and it's got this really weird, rotten, dry fruit taste. And I can't, like, sometimes dry, sometimes rotten, sometimes it's weird, sometimes it's fruity. It just doesn't give me a consistent taste of that fruit. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I mean, the ash is not bad. I mean, I tapped it off at one time already, here's good again. But like... I don't like that flavor. I don't like that flavor. I don't know. Now it starts to work to a sort of a... I don't know. Some sort of baking spice kind of flavor. Slowly there. So and I kind of like got a little bit more than one third. Because I want to see if uh, that got better. But like... No. It's, it's pretty bad. But yeah. We'll see. Second third. Be right back. Ooh. All right. Second third. Uh, the fruit got a little bit better. It's sweeter now. So it's actually not as bad. But it's not perfect. I wouldn't say it's great. But it's smokable. It's at the point of smokable. So like while I'm smoking it, it's not as disgusting. It's not as disgusting. Um, when they combine with the wood tone... I don't think it worked out well. Maybe it needs to sit some more, but I, I don't think the the flavor work with each other. It, at time, it almost I'm not even kidding. It almost smells. Cause this smoke keeps coming to my face. I don't know why. Uh it almost smells like a residual residue of marijuana of some sort. I don't know why. It just does. Is floral, is chocolate, is that fruity weirdness, dry fruit. Almost maybe a day or two over what, you know, Best Buy day, you know? So, um, I don't know. Continue to work on it. Um, where is it? I took off the band. I don't know where they go. There, there was a second. Oh, there it is. Hey. <clears throat> so, the first band was just that with two stars. The second band is just Rocky Patel. As if you can tell, it's Rocky Patel already. Because it's RP, RP everywhere. So, there's another Rocky Patel band. Just all black and gold. So, yeah. Nothing too special. But at like 11 something dollar price range, I think it's okay. About about there. 10 bucks. Nine. Because the fruit. I don't know. I have to continue to smoke some more. Last third, let's finish up and go to the summary. And then, yeah, then I'll price it then. Because any cigar at minimum, you should get that minimum price. And this one, I don't know. Okay. I'll be right back. All right, faster, done, finally. <clears throat> Sometimes the cigar is good. Sometimes the cigar is bad. It's almost like one draw is good, the other draw is bad. 
It's very inconsistent. I don't know. Like right now, it's good. Chocolate, fruity, uh, woodsy, a little bit of sweetness, pepper. And now I'll take another draw. It's bitter. Uh, it's weird. It's dry fruit. It's, I don't know. So, not a very good cigar. Uh, I know it's 11 something dollar, but I can only give this one about A50. A50 is what I can give. Not very good cigar. I'll say skip it. Skip it, skip it, skip it. That flavor. Ugh. <clears throat> there you go. Dark Star. I swear, this thing really looks like somebody just uh, took the clip art and just slapped it on there. Um, and uh, and um, put a font, Dark Star, on there and, and then call it a day. I, I don't think there's, there's a lot of thought or a lot of work on this thing. I would happen rather they didn't take any of the star on it. If they take out the star, it's less cheesy. You know, less, this is like four cheese level, not just like Parmesan or mozzarella. This is like four cheese, Parmesan, a little bit of mozzarella on top, and then another layer of cheddar kind of thing. Cheesy. I, I, I don't really like it, but it does stand out. On the picture, it looks way better. Like I, I was looking at half wheel. Their picture looks way better for some reason. But like, you know, when you actually hold it in your hand, you're like, what the hell is this? So, yeah. Yeah, well, at least it's that range where I will expect Rocky Patel to charge. So it makes sense. But I, you got to really like those dry fruit tastes to like this cigar. It's, it's impossible. So yeah, that's it for this review. I hope you like it. If you like, like, subscribe, comment, share, ring the bell, break the computer, toss it out, do whatever you need to do. And I will see you guys on the next one. Big thanks to Eric for sending me the cigars and hopefully next one is gonna be better. Bye guys.